Reading number six, verse 40, from Parsha Ben Midbar. And the Lord said to Moses, Count every firstborn male aged one month and upward from the children of Israel and take the number of their names. Whoa. Here's another thing, another counting. So there's three countings. Woof. And you shall take the Levites from me. Oh, uh, is he only talking about the Levites? Okay. For I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and take the Levites' animals instead the Levites' animals instead of all the firstborn of Israel. Uh, okay, it's very important is that the whole nation of Israel is called God's firstborn in Rashi's, one of Rashi's first commentaries. But being a firstborn has this whole special thing. Reuben was a firstborn of Israel, and he eventually lost the firstborn, so you can actually lose the firstborn. And, and actually the firstborn males, eventually, uh, not of the Levites, but the firstborn males of all the other tribes did lose the rights of the firstborns because they, they uh, participated in the Chet Ego, which is the sin of the golden calf. So just because you're born into a caste system, you can actually get kicked out of it. And in this, in this situation, the firstborns never got back into it. So, you know, the punishments could be consequential for thousands of years. But even though the Torah says the sins of the fathers did not pass under their children, there are exceptions to that as well. Bottom line, if you are firstborn and you're not a Levite, you have to do what's called a pinyon aben, which is a redemption ceremony. And if you're a Kohen, you don't have to do it because you can't redeem yourself. Just like the Talmud says, you can't get yourself out of prison. Um, maybe this connected idea is you, it basically Judaism kind of always says in some way, sort of, not I wouldn't say always, but it often says, you really need another person. You can't really decide things on your own. You can't do things by yourself. No man is an island. Judaism has this nice belief system in which we do need each other. We're all responsible for each other. And this is quoted many and many other places in the, in the Talmud. And I'm not going to go too far into it. But here we see that you do need other people. Okay. So you're going to redeem the firstborn and the Levites uh, and the animals as well. So Moses, now we're in verse 42. So Moses counted every firstborn of Israel as the Lord had commanded him. Of course he did, but he has free will, as I mentioned before. The firstborn male, age one month and upward, according to the number of names, was 22,273. But before we saw that it was only 22,000. So here we have another 273. And Rashi and other commentators explain why there's this 273 person difference in the Levite count. And though, because some Rashi basically says that these are the firstborn of the Levites was the extra 273 people. Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, the Levite animals instead of, uh, instead of their animals, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. As for the 273 of the children of Israel who require redemption, who are in, in excess of the Levites, you shall take five shekels per head according to the holy shekel by which their shekel is 20 gera. And you shall give the money to Aaron and his sons in redemption of the firstborn who are in excess of them. So these are the these are the firstborn of the Levites, so you don't count them, because before we said there was only 22,000, but here we see there's 22,273. So this excess is just a great way of having, you know, raising money. You know, it's always finding a way for raising money for the Mishkan. Very interesting uh, concept here. I'm not going to go into it more than I am, and I'm not really trying to be silly, but it does seem like an interesting way to raise money for the Mishkan. So Moses took the redemption money for those in excess of those who were redeemed by the Israelites. He took the money for the firstborn of the children of Israel, 1,365 of the holy shekel. And Mo what did he do with that money? And then Moses gave the money of those redeemed to Aaron and his sons, and according to the, with the, Lord, the, to, with the Lord, word of the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He only did it. He only took the money. It doesn't say what exactly what he did with it, but he took the money as he was commanded by God itself. And that is the end of that reading.